What's going on YouTube? I hope everyone's doing well in this cold day of December. Even though it's cold outside, I'm driving my Evo because it's all-wheel drive and awesome like that. As long as it's not snowing, I'm gonna continue driving my Evo in the winter time because salt and cars don't mix too well. So today, I wanted to talk about these JDM stickers that I see on import vehicles. The reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because I saw this sticker on another Evo at a car show I attended about two weeks ago. And he had no idea the meaning behind these JDM, JDM div stickers. So today I wanted to talk about what it actually means, why people put it on their cars, and why you should probably remove them. These JDM div stickers are called Shoshin Shamaku in Japan, which literally means beginner's sticker. So in Japan, if you're a beginner driver, you have to have this sticker on the front and rear of your vehicle for the first year. This is so that people around you, people in front of you, behind you, know that you basically suck at driving. So be cautious, be careful when you're passing me, or when you're you know, driving by me. So it's a warning sign for drivers around you that you're not very aware of your surroundings. As many of you know, here in the United States, you don't have to have these stickers. And there's no such thing as beginner stickers, although I think it's a good idea and every country should implement it. So in addition to the beginner sticker, there's what's called Korei Shamaku, which literally means sticker for the elderly. So as you could imagine, this is a sticker that you would put on your car if you are older. So above a certain age, you are recommended to put these stickers on your car so that you're warning other drivers that you're maybe not driving at high speeds or you may be incapable of making quick turns. I could see this sticker being helpful in the United States when you're behind somebody extremely slow on the highway in the left lane and you're tailgating them. Or I'm, I don't recommend tailgating anybody, but you see people tailgating slow drivers on left lane but when you see this elder sticker on the back of their car, you go, oh, okay, they're old. They don't like going fast. So I'm gonna stop tailgating in and I'm just gonna go around on the right side. So I think this sticker does have a valid meaning and so does the beginner sticker. But when it comes to running these stickers here in the United States, it really doesn't make any sense unless you actually are beginner driver or elderly driver. So that was it, just a quick recap of what these signs and stickers mean in Japan and how people are misinterpreting them here in the United States. I hope it was informative guys. If you like it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next vlog. See you.